Rory McIlroy will be forced to relive a contentious moment for the golf superstar. Footage of Rory McIlroy's U.S. Open locker room fallout is set to be released to the public next year, after the golf star suffered a late collapse at Pinehurst and watched Bryson DeChambeau pip him to glory from the clubhouse. McElroy had been heading towards his first major victory since 2014 before bogeying three of the last four holes, including two short putts after failing to miss a putt inside three feet all season. Instead, the Northern Ireland star had to awkwardly watch on as DeChambeau took advantage of his misery, before more drama exploded behind the scenes as a result of Netflix's full-swing documentary, set to air in 2025. McElroy was unexpectedly followed into the locker rooms by the documentary crew, still reeling from his last hole meltdown at Pinehurst, as a top USGA official reportedly had to step in and halt proceedings. A furious McElroy made a swift exit from the course and snubbed his media obligations before announcing a break from golf, swiftly following a tense moment in the champion's changing area. McElroy, who was permitted to use the space as the 2011 tournament victor, was gathering his belongings in an attempt to leave the premises quietly. However, he and his team were followed by a crew carrying a camera and a boom microphone. USGA CEO Mike Wan paused his preparations for the tournament presentations to intervene, asking security guards, Do we want them in here? Wan showed sensitivity to McElroy in a low moment, and acknowledged that the same sentiment was not shared by the Netflix crew, who were keen to capture the runner-up's immediate reaction to his dramatic defeat. There had been doubts over whether a third season of Full Swing would ever be released, despite McElroy and his rivals continuing to be filmed, with the world number three potentially hopeful that his first thoughts and actions after U.S. Open despair would never be aired.